back with another fragrance video. These are my favorite types of videos. So if you're on the hunt for your next summer perfume, you're in the right place because these are my top 10. First up, this has to be my favorite out of the entire lineup. This is Herba Gold from Zerjov. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all are familiar with Zerjov's Herba Pura. They are very, very similar, but this one is a million times better. This is a musky, ambery, fruity scent. At the top, you have Brazilian orange, Sicilian lemon, and ginger, which adds like a fresh zinginess to it. In the middle, there's melon, pear, green apple. There are some spicy notes that you don't smell at all, and I was on the fence about this because when I saw cinnamon and cloves, I was like, why would I want that with melons and citrus? There's also a little bit of cardamom in here, but I don't think it really does anything but ground it and keep it from being like artificial, screechy, synthetic smelling. You have like your typical base notes like white musk, amber, vanilla, and some woody notes. This is a super well-rounded, well-blended scent, and this one you can overspray and it's not gonna be like super overpowering. This is a very nuclear scent. It's super long-lasting. Everybody's going to smell you, and this is gonna last on your clothes and on your skin for days, even after a shower. You do get a lot of that melon. There's something in here that smells a little bit mango-y, like sweet, musky scents. This is going to be your jam. Every time I've worn this, somebody has complimented me on it. I honestly wish I got the big size because this is so freaking good. This is soft, it's sweet, it's juicy. This is the perfect tropical scent. It has a super luxurious DNA. When you wear this, you smell like you you got that stuff on. If you're a fan of scents like Herba Pura or Kirkay, you would really like this. This is just a way more mellowed out, smoother version. Next up is Mango Skin. This is always gonna be a good choice for the summer. I had my bottle for a while, so it's a little darker, but I really use this up when it's hot outside. For a pretty perfume, this is on the heavier side. I feel like this is better for like a summer night. You have this delicious, juicy, ripe mango pulp. Red wine, pink sugar, black currant. This is for someone who likes dark, seductive scents. This is giving vacation for sure. It does smell very edible without being overly gourmand. I think the red wine is what gives it that sort of like flirtatious vibe. This can be a unisex scent, but to me, I think it leans very feminine, especially with that pink icing sugar. This is creamy. This is juicy. It's a little bit spicy with some black pepper. This smells like a hyper-realistic, super soft, ripe mango, like the juice spraying down your hands after you're biting into like the softest mango. But overall, this is very thick, it's very dense. You cannot miss this scent, like everyone's going to smell you. This is a good go-to for a summer nights out, a little date night, a little vacation. It's definitely worth the splurge and this bottle is also adorable. This one really caught me by surprise. It is Guerlain's Neroli Plain Soothe. In one of my recent videos, I had like a sit down one-on-one -on -one with the perfumer and she gave me this. And at first I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I do because I am a very like gourmand vanilla girl. This is soft life luxury baddie in a bottle. This is a girl that never misses out on her weekly maintenance appointment. She lives in a luxury high rise, has a closet dedicated to all her handbags, and uses the term summer as a verb. This is such a beautiful, fresh, sweet, spicy scent. It takes you through so many different phases. This is one that I also cannot wear without getting a compliment. Like each time I wear this, somebody's gonna ask me what I'm wearing. This is especially good for the person that doesn't like to smell like everyone else. I don't think I've smelled this smell on anyone else. It's very unique. So from the name, you can tell that you get neroli, so you have like this really soft, creamy orange blossom. But then you get turmeric and ginger, which add this spicy warmth to the scent. There's also some cinnamon, and there's sandalwood at the base. This one's also especially impressive because it lasts more than an hour. Normally with like neroli orange blossom scents, I don't really get that much lasting power because it is so fresh. If you're familiar with that note, you know it sort of puts you in the mind of like a spa. It's very light and refreshing. And the neroli in this scent comes across as a lot sweeter rather than green. Very distinctive. You're definitely going to stand out if you wear this scent. This is what I wear when I'm trying to be on my grown woman vibe. I just cannot get enough of this scent. It's a sweet scent. It's sweet, spicy, and fresh all at the same time. If you're tired of smelling like everyone else and you want something that's different, it's unique, but still everyone's going to like it, you gotta try this out. So I actually just got this perfume today in the mail. This is Fleur's newest scent called Soft Spot. I have the note card right here because I'm not too familiar with the notes, but I do know that this smells amazing. So this is an ambery musk scent that starts off a little bit citrusy with bergamot, mandarin orange, and some freesia. In the middle, this turns into a more cozy, warm floral. There's a vanilla orchid, jasmine petals, and water lily. Of course, you have like amber, sandalwood, and musk at the bottom. 
when I opened this this morning, I put it on my wrist to wear my errands and came back so I could like tell you guys how it developed and everything. When I initially sprayed this, I immediately thought of Burberry Goddess. It had that very clean, musky vanilla scent. It literally smelled just like Burberry Goddess with like a little bit of missing person. The notes are kind of throwing me for a loop though because as this wears, I'm noticing that it smells very coconutty and like balmy. This is very vanilla forward. Like I still get that Burberry Goddess vibe, but tropical, like a Burberry Goddess an alien goddess had a baby. I'm getting a musky vanilla, balmy coconut sort of smell. This is a very intimate scent. It is very soft, but you can still smell it. This is one of those perfumes that smells like you just smell really good naturally. This smells like you just took a shower using a really good vanilla scented product. It smells so cuddly and cozy, kind of just like a hug in a bottle. For the Gourmand Girls, I have the perfect summer vanilla. This is Maison Sahiti's Vanextasy. This smells like something you could drink. It has coconut milk, caramel, vanilla, some cedarwood. This is giving like ice goddess this is a vanilla that's more on the resinous side and i think that's because of the caramel there's something in here that smells like honey like organic raw just dripping thick honey a lot of the caramel and a lot of the vanilla it is a very creamy scent there was one word that i could use to describe this perfume it would be caramelized i love pairing this with the sol de janeiro bum bum cream i feel like they smell super similar and this makes it extra sweet if you're looking for a vanilla perfume that's a little more grown up you'll definitely want to try this out this is that perfume that you put on when you just finished tanning on the beach you head back into your suite showered off your skin is all tan and toasty you're oiled up and then you put on your scent to go out to dinner like this is probably one of my favorite warm and sweet scents for the summertime for all the linen set gold jewelry clean girls 124 from mfk is definitely going to be your vibe this is what i find myself reaching for the most you really cannot go wrong with this this is an anytime any place scent and it's always going to have you smelling super put together this is one of those crisp clean fresh laundry sorts of perfumes except this one actually lasts. We have Calabrian Bergamot, Aldehyde, which adds to that freshness, Sweet Pea, Jasmine, and Musk. This is like taking your fresh bedding out of the dryer after you use a really good fabric softener and dryer sheet. I feel like the longer you wear this, the better it gets. It becomes a little bit sweeter with those floral notes and the musk is just so alluring. This goes from citrusy to sweet floral musk. This scent is just so bright and refreshing. If you wear this, you're gonna smell like crisp linens. Just super, super clean. This smells like you're wearing a crisp white linen top pair of blue jeans on a sunny day. It's very classy and definitely a staple year round. Next is Coco Shimmy from Sniff. I took this on vacation with me a couple of weeks ago and I sprayed this on. Quickly, this became the community perfume for the entire girls trip. This will have you smelling like a walking pina colada. When you first spray it on, you get this super juicy pineapple, like the yellowest, sweetest, most delicious pineapple. I literally want to drink this when I smell it. And then of course, like with every pineapple scent, there's coconut, so this has coconut water in there. There's also a surfboard wax Note, which adds this balminess to the scent. I think this is a really great pineapple coconut scent for people that don't like sunscreeny perfume. I personally hate any coconut scent that smells like sunscreen. If I wanted to smell like sunscreen, I would have just bought sunscreen. But if you actually want to smell like a pina colada and not like coconut sunscreen, you're really gonna love this. It does have a suntan lotion note, but overall it's more sweet, tropical, fruity. There's also some tonka bean at the bottom, which adds this vanilla quality to the scent. When I say this is a very realistic pineapple scent, it literally smells like a can of pineapple juice. This is also one I was getting compliments on the entire trip. It's always a plus when you go out with a new scent and other people are feeling it just as much as you are. I don't know if it's just me, but I do feel like Sniff is very underrated. The longevity on these scents are amazing. They're always coming out with super fun launches. Although this is a pina colada sort of scent, it is very pineapple forward. So if you're looking for a really good pineapple-y, just juicy, fruity scent, it smells like you are the pineapple. Next up is Cassiopeia from Tiziana Terenzi. This is one that will never get old to me. This is a sweet, powdery, tropical scent. Passion fruit in the summer is always going to eat. This has juicy passion fruit, some lemon, lily of the valley, which adds this cozy powderiness, but also a little bit clean, kind of like a shampoo-y vibe. Tea rose, tonka bean, musk, and sandalwood. This is one that does have a pretty intimate wear. This is one that's very flirty and playful, but also sort of reserved. This is like the flirty girl that's shy about it. You do get a lot of that sweet passion fruit but it does maintain this powdery freshness kind of like a fruity shampoo to me i smell tropical fruit and whipped cream this is a very fluffy airy scent this is a scent that's on the lighter side but at the same time it leaves this gorgeous 
cloud or veil of a scent. I tried this out because Aaliyah's face was talking about how tea this was and she did not lie. Lastly is Blue Heart from The Mean London. This is a heavy hitter. It's very bold. It's a spicy coconut. You have saffron, coconut, vanilla, tonka bean, cypriol oil, amber, and white musk. This does sort of have that Baccarat Rouge-esque mossy amber DNA. This is a perfume that I think is very chic. It's elegant. It's modern. The performance on this is absolutely crazy. It's kind of in the same realm as Instant Crush from Mancera. This is the scent that I could see either for summer nights or for the winter. It is very heavy. Something in here almost comes across as oody. This will absolutely fill a room. It is warm and spicy. I don't really get a lot of the coconut or the vanilla. See, the saffron is definitely in the forefront of this scent. You'd probably expect this to smell more coconut and vanilla, but honestly, that just adds a creaminess to it. Overall, throughout this fragrance, you're mainly going to get a very dense cloud of saffron, amber, and musk. This could honestly be a signature scent. It's super unique. That is it for my top 10 summer fragrances. If you decide to try any of these out, please let me know. I'll leave everything linked in the description box. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!